Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Blackie Thomas and today I will be doing a review on the Blue Eddy AC-180T. I partnered up with Blue Eddy to do this review for you and in, uh, be completely transparent they provided this unit free of charge for me to do this review. Now this is a large unit that's designed to work in conjunction with other things that are coming onto the market now. We'll discuss that in a minute. But this is, as a standalone, this is a large power unit which has a maximum output of 1800 watts, which is 1433.6 watt hours. It has uh, two batteries in it, which I'll show you in a minute. It is said to be able to run a 65 watt draw refrigerator 14 hours. So this is a nice big heavy, this thing's like 50, 60 pounds in weight. This thing is designed, think about you guys wanting to do off-grid. You're wanting to have a power cell I can take to that hunting cabin, to that shelter, to camp, and be able to set up solar arrays to set up my own power source. That's where they're going with this. On the face of the unit, we have four 110 plugs. We also have along the bottom down here, we have two small charging ports for electronic devices and the two large charging ports for electronic devices. You have your display here in the center where you hold the button and it activates, giving you all your information. You have a charging uh, port right here to plug in for like a car AC type jack that you plug in, DC type jack, excuse me, and then you have a plug in right here where you hook in your solar charger to it. The unit is capable of charging and discharging simultaneously. Now what that means in English is, using this at a hunting camp or something like that, or an off-grid, or your bug out place, whatever you want to use it for, I can plug in a solar array and have this being charging while it's actually discharging running something else. It will let the power go through from the solar to this to that and be charging at the same time. So it is able to do that, which is a big advantage. Now, like I said, I'm going to do an up close in just a moment. Let me give you the numbers right quick on it. As I said, the model is the AC-180T. It has 1,800 watt with 1,433.6 watt hours. Okay. It has two batteries inside, which I'm going to show you in the up close in a moment. With one battery in it, it is a 1,200 watt unit, and it can function with just one battery in it or both batteries in it. And I'll show you why that's a real advantage coming up. With both batteries in it, it's an 1800 watt. Charging, it has three charging modes. There's standard mode, which takes roughly two hours. We're talking about plugging into AC, uh, AC wall outlet. Roughly two hours will recharge the unit. You also have a turbo setting where I need to do it in a hurry. You can kick it and it'll drop that time down to one and a half hours. And then you have a silent mode which can take up to four hours, but is actually the best on the batteries. Silent mode is also what's going to happen with solar and etc. It's slower, but it doesn't stress the batteries. It doesn't generate heat. And so therefore, you may want to put it on silent mode and let it charge where I don't have to use it right now. I want it to charge at home, not heat, etc. I can just put it on silent and let it go slow, trickle charge it like us old guys used to call it. It's said to be able to power a 65 watt refrigerator for 14 hours, which is pretty impressive. 65 watt draw load. It comes with a unit. It comes with a carry bag, which has manual in it, so you know what all the settings are. It also has all your charging cords. So you have a solar charge and these all come apart they're held together with this handy velcro you have a solar charge you have right there the solar charge part you have the plug it into the wall port and then you have the plug it into your car so that you can charge this unit sitting in your car as you're going down the road you can charge it by solar once you get to the site you can plug it into any 110 and charge it up three major charge ports very nice. Now, let me bring you up close and give you a closer look at the face and the two batteries inside. That's the big defining part of this. 
Okay, here's the face of the unit. Here are the four 110 outlet, 120 volt, 80, 800 watt, 1800 watt, excuse me. Then you have a USB-C, 100 watt, a USB-A, 5 volt, 3A, a USB-A, 5 volt, 3A, and another USB-C, 100 watt. You have your output of your 12 volt right there, 12 volt, 10 amp. And then you have your input DC where we're charging from the car or we're charging from solar, which is 12 volt through 60 volt. You have your activation button right here. Hold it in for three seconds. It'll activate, giving you the display. Then you can choose DC or AC. AC activates. You can hear it spool up. It will give you what it is at the moment. We are at 30%. It says echo, which means economy charging. It's in the slower charging mode to do best for the batteries. And it gives you a display of how much power is coming in, how much is power is going out in any of the four displays, as well as your hours down there. To change, all you got to do is just shift to another one, hold it for just a second, and it'll kick itself off. There you go. Up here in the top is the real magic. Okay. Here on the top, you lift the lid, and here are the two individual batteries. They have their own check boxes where you can press and see how much each battery is charged right now they're at two each because i've used it down i need to recharge you can also grab this button and hook and pull the units out as you can see the unit on the bottom has a plug-in port and a drain plug on it and two alignment pin ports this is the big separate battery i will show it separate in a moment you set it down grab the other one pull it out and they're completely out of the unit this greatly reduces the weight of the main unit so now this weighs about 20 something pounds it's much easier to pick up transport a to b like from the car to the truck to whatever you know and set it and then put the batteries in it drops the weight as well as these batteries can be used separately and we're going to talk about that right now these batteries coming out separately are the main weight of the whole unit and make it where I can have rechargeable batteries I can drop in. I can also charge batteries in this unit and pull out to put into other devices and that's what's coming in the future. Let me show you a little glimpse of what's coming. In the manual that comes with it, it shows you the refrigerator that's coming. It's a portable unit that this battery will slide into as you see. This unit can then be charged with solar it can also be charged with ac car jack exactly and you can charge devices off of it up off of the refrigerator and then change out these batteries see that's the way it's going so this becomes a mother unit the 180t is the mother unit that i pull those batteries out of so i can keep it at my cabin my resort or whatever and i want to run that refrigerator with it i pull it out and i plug it in boom from what I've seen, it's supposed to run four to six days, run the refrigerator, and can be charged while there. So I can take that to the fishing camp or whatever separately and put out my solar array and be powering and recharging that battery while it is inside of the cooler. Plus, I can have this other battery to change out. So on a cabin, a remote setting or whatever, I can have it as two separate units, see, where I'm using this is my main power to power all the lights and stuff in this retreat, this hunting camp, whatever, and all the other devices, coffee makers, things like that, I can power with this. And I also have that battery to plug into that refrigerator. When that battery gets low, if I don't have another charging thing, but I can, I've got this main unit hooked up to a big solar array, chunk, chunk, I plug it back in and I charge it up pull that fresh battery out that I've got, plug it in the refrigerator, and plug the dead battery back in and let it charge it. Pretty smart idea, huh? So, with this simple innovation of being able to pull out the batteries for use, to drop down the overall unit weight, to make it easier to transport it, put it into a vehicle or something like that instead of having to uh, lift up such a big unit. I can drop the weight down to individual components and then reassemble it in the vehicle. 
Makes it easier for me to tote it up to that second floor balcony up there that I'm going to be using where my solar array is or whatever. It makes life easier. Now, there will be more videos coming on this over the next couple of months. I will be getting one of those refrigerators and I will give you a report back on how well it works. But for the most part, I've been very, very happy. I've been using Blue Eddy products for over two years and I have been very, very pleased with them both in the smaller 750 all the way up to this. That's the reason I was willing to work with them on this because I think in today's environment, the idea of having a emergency power unit that I can power uh, all my necessary devices in case of earthquake, storm, blizzard, hurricane, etc. Me being able to plug in my refrigerator and save my food me being able to be mobile with this and be able to charge on the go with this, to take to that hunting camp, that vacation, that weekend at the, at the lake, this would be a great way to do it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please put a like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And there'll be more videos coming about this a little later on. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.